What's up guys and welcome to r and Productions. My name is Sean and this is Car Reviews. This is where I use car official websites to give you different models of different cars, pictures, um, specs, engine, economy, so that you can make the best choice. If you're out there looking for a car or if you're like me and you just love hearing, learning, seeing about seeing cars, all right? So this is for everybody and if you guys didn't know go to my channel um, I just uploaded uh, the Jordan Air Jordan 10 Charlotte's so you can please visit that as well um, now there have been some changes if you haven't heard in any of my videos like I said there is a website www.rnrproductions site.wordpress.com and a snapchat so you can add us at RNR Productions, and though both of those will be in the description below all right so you know but enough of that stuff let's get into it guys so this is the car company Audi all right they make amazing affordable most of their cars are affordable all right they're for me they're kind of on that borderline all right they do make affordable cars and then they can and then sometimes if you've ever seen the Audi R8 they just go mad with it all right very hundred thousand dollar expensive car all right so let's look at our models and we're going to see which ones we're going to do. Alright, so let's go down here. So let's see. I'm going to do one sedan. Um, let's go moderate today. We're going to go, we're going to start. We're going to do the, for sedan, we're going to do the 2016 S6. Alright. For SUVs, crossovers, and wagons, we're gonna do the we're gonna go mm, we're gonna do the 2016 Q5. All right. Then for coupes, we're gonna do to obviously the Audi R8, the most expensive one. And then for convertibles, we're going to do. I'm sorry, we're gonna do no, I'm playing. We're gonna do the Audi six uh, 2016 TT Roadster. All right, so let's go. Let's do it. Let's start off with the 2016 Audi S6. All right, so this, my friends, the 2016 S6, beautiful four-door luxury. I believe it's a luxury sedan. Um, this car will be starting at seventy thousand nine hundred dollars. So as you can see, it is up there with Lexus, um, Mercedes, BMW, Jaguar. It's up there. With them, and I say it's on that borderline because they do make um, expensive cars. If you saw the price as I was scrolling with it, um, with the uh, R8, all right? all right. So, first, let's go to the gallery. All right, let's view the exterior first. So, that's the car, and then you get that dual, of course, you get that dual chrome shiny tipped exhaust. I love that. And then you get the full view of the car, and as you can see, the mirrors give you that 360 view of it. I do like that. So it is it is a moderate good. And like I said, it is a luxury sedan. You do get that patent leather. You do get the um, the screen on it. You do get an, ele an electric screen in the dashboard. Of course you do. I mean, for 70 grand, you better get something. You get, like I said, you get that interweave leather seats. They can change color based on how you like it. You do get the conventional buttons. I have no idea what this is. But, you know, maybe we can find out. You know, learn together, alright? So let's look at the interior a little bit. Said the seats can change based on how you feel. Alright. So, this car is an all wheel drive car. So let's explore the performance of this car. All right, so it is an all-wheel drive car. It is um, automatic if you want it to be. Now let's look at the engine. We have a 450 horsepower engine. All right, under the hood, this is a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. All right, uh, this is a four. This is a four-liter, uh, four-liter engine. I don't know. What, I don't know what kind of engine it is, but it is a four-liter engine pushing out 450 horsepower under its hood. And this is a seven-speed uh, dual-clutch transmission. 
um, engine. All right, and it does have lightweight, so it is lightweight, like I said, and has a faster acceleration rate. So as soon as you step on the gas, it accelerates faster and shorter brake distance. So if you say you have to stop short, you don't slide for a long time, and sharper handling. So when you take, if you have to take sharp turns, you're not, you know, going wide out. All right. So you do have four ways to drive out. You can see you can have your comfort mode. All right, you can put it on auto. You can put it on dynamic, and you can put it on individual, where you just take on everything. All right. So you can always feel sporty. Let's look at the technology they have. They have a. They instead of having just a rear view camera, they have corner view cameras that put re, that put a side view mirror on the back of your car, so you can see instead of just seeing. Straight behind you, you can see on both sides as well. All right, and I think that's actually a great safety feature. All right, so you have a top view camera, an overhead camera. Um, so it has a camera, so the car scans itself and gives you an overview of itself, making it easier to park. All right, and keeping everything a visibility. Um, in mind as well as so keeping you safe as well. You have night vision. So let's say that you're driving through the night on a dark road. Where I live there is a dark road. Um, it will alert you and actually pick out in red boxes if you see like a missile targeting system. And um, within 300 feet of any large animal or pedestrian it will highlight them and alert you that they are in the road and if you do not hear the alert for some weird reason the car will automatically break itself. Alright. You get a head-up display. The head-up display projects. Ooh, look at this. You get a projection um, readout of the car's speed and navigation and systems when equipped directly onto the windshield to keep your eyes on the road ahead. So that gives you um, that system control to tell you that there's a car in front of you. Also keeping your speed. All right. Audi. 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 Audi side assist. All right. Audi. Uh, see, I keep saying Audi. Audi side assist system uses radar sensors and visual warning to help you alert when there's a vehicle next to you so you don't turn into that vehicle. And then it has adaptive stop and go crew control so it, it allows you to um, pick onto the car in front of you and when they stop, you stop. When they speed up, so do you. So do you. All right. So like I said, for the premium plus, you get it starts at seventy thousand nine hundred, and then for the prestige, seventy five thousand three hundred. This still is not a um, cheap car, and I do not recommend for first time drivers. All right. Like on every website, you can build it to your specifications, but like I always say, it will be a little more. So this guys has been the two thousand sixteen Audi. S6. Alright, so let's go to models. So we're done with sedans. Let's go down to SUVs. And we're going to go... I f totally forgot what we were going to do. Yes, the Q5. I remember now. Alright. So guys, this is the Q 2016 Audi Q5. This car will be starting... Well, not car. SUV will be starting at $40,900. let us go to the gallery real quick. Look at that exterior. No, 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 I want the exterior. So we see, see the bot seat. So this is a sedan uh, SUV, whichever you want to call it. But it does actually look pretty good. I actually like the look. You get that panoramic sunroof if you want it. I, I see the thing I love about Audi is that the narrowing of the lights. I do like that on um, the front and the back. You get those xenon lights. Like I said, in the interior, you get that leathery feel. Now, to me, it doesn't look as luxury as the car we just seen, but that just might be because of the dull colors. But like I said, it isn't um, the Stone Age in here. You still have your advanced computer. You still have all the safety systems. You still have the mahogany wood accents. Or like I said, you see now it looks, it, it was just the color. The color of the seats, it took me off. But like I said, you get that that huge view of the sky through your panoramic sunroof. And then it opens up. You get a mount, because the SUV, you get a huge amount of trunk space. All right, You get an extra trunk compartment underneath for your briefcases as well. And then this, this isn't a conventional, it does have a stop start engine. So you guys like as you can see, as you would know, this car is um four wheel drive. Let's explore this car a little bit. So it is four it is four wheel drive, alright, to help you keep in the corner, to help you keep that grip. Your engine, you have two choices. You can have a two liter engine, um, 
a regular two two liter engine, or you can have a supercharged three liter V6. Um, so that's your choice. You can have a two liter or a three liter, a supercharged three liter V6, depending on how fast you want your car to go. And it does have the th four driving um, stages as the other car, comfort, auto, dynamic, individual. It's up to you based on what you'd like to drive. All right, so you do that. Let's look at technology. You have an extra navigation system, all right, that connects with Google or with Google Earth, giving you that 3D picture satellite. Um, you have Audi, Audi, uh, Audi, Audi. I cannot do this. Audi, with also with Google Earth, um, with 3D satellite imaging. You have Wi-Fi hotspot in your car with 4G LTE connectivity for up to eight passenger devices. You can you have Twitter um, integration, local traffic, news, and more. And then you have a Audi music interface. This feature provides full iPod integration and you control your compatible player through Audi system or steering wheel so it allows you to play your music through your um iPod. Unless you say you have the side assist uh, sensors on both sides of your car to let you to warn you when there are cars beside you and then you still have the cruise control with this as well. So there are three you can get the premium for forty thousand nine hundred the premium plus for forty two thousand seven hundred and fifty or the prestige for fifty three thousand Five hundred. Like I said, there's two engines. You can get the regular two liter or the supercharged three liter V6. All right. Depending, it all depends on how fast you want to go. All right. So guys, that has been all for the 2016 Q5. Let's go back to our models. This video will be kind of quick because Audi does not offer a lot of information. You know that have to go step by step like others, but they do give us enough. Now we're getting to the good stuff, guys. I present you guys with the 2017 Audi R8, Audi's contribution to the supercar world. All right, this car will cost $162,900. All right, let me repeat that one more time: $162,900, and this is their contribution to the supercar world. All right, let's go to the gallery real quick do that exterior so that's the back of the vehicle you do get that awesome rear GT spoiler side of the car it looks amazing I love the xenon lights on the top it just looks even though it's a supercar or you know a sports car as you want to call it it does look amazing the back of that car and then the carbon fiber grates on the side I love that as well the slanted lights amazing like I said the narrower lights I love it the carbon fiber on this with the uh, Still aluminum um, hood cap for it with the R8 badges on it. The um, air intakes on the side really complete that. And then, like I said, you do, even though you do have the minor eraser, they have not left out the comfortability. But, like, for they don't like Ferrari having a lot of the buttons are on the steering wheel, but not like Ferrari in a way where they still put buttons everywhere where the steering wheel isn't everything. Because for those who know cars or, you know, have owned a Ferrari, you know that Ferrari, everything, literally, except the gear shift, is on the steering wheel. Actually, no, that's a lie. It is on the back of the steering wheel for some. So, like I said, I love that. You still got that leather accents. It is a two-seater all the way. The carbon fiber accents on the inside. Sorry, guys, about that. I do love, I do love this. All right. So, even though, like I said, it is a, a supercar, you still get the luxury. The um, aluminum tipped dials but like I said for 100 or something it better be a luxury car so let's look at this performance guys this supercar was built for speed alright it has a 5.2 liter V10 that delivers up to 610 horsepower in the R8 V10 plus alright and this has a V10 from a Lamborghini guys alright so you already know this car was built for speed this 5.2 liter V10, 610 horsepower. All right. So they've made it skinnier and leaner, reducing, uh, resulting in 40% greater body rigidity. All right, making it faster, slimmer, more aerodynamic. It's great in the corners as well. All right, four wheel drive in this car. Like I said, the engine is amazing. So 5.2 liter V10 and that produces um, 540. Um, and in the R8 V10 model, 
in the RAV10 model and 600 horsepower in the RAV10 plus. So there's two. Um, from 0 to 60 is 3.2 seconds. That is very fast. And a top speed of 205 miles an hour. All right. So like I said, you can do the performance on snow, wet, or dry. And you have, so because this car is so fast, it could not have a conventional speedometer. So it does have to have an electric one. So I think that, that is pretty cool. You do have a cutting edge steering wheel, cutting edge technology on the steering wheel. You have a stop start engine. Like I said, a lot of things are on the steering wheel, so it's kind of like a Ferrari, but a lot of things are not. And, um, yeah, so you have a sound system on there. Like I said, your map, instead of having it on the dashboard, it's on your, um, in the middle of the steering wheel, so you can see instead of having to look over to your side, you have the touchpad on there, like, like BMW has. Or you can have the whole, um, middle dash take up with the GPS or have a corner of it. An amazing 550 watts um, with 13 speaker surround sound system so I think that's good and like I said um, the RA Coupe you get 160 it starts at 162,900 will increase if once you personalize it to make it your own. You can get in the V10 or the V10 Plus. The V10 pushing out 540 horsepower with the V10 Plus pushing out 610, you, and then you do get, you know, all the features like the navigation, headlights, the co the uh, virtual cockpit, and all that. But like I said, price will go up as you make it your own. But this has been the 2017 Audi R8. Let's look at our models. We are almost done, guys. At 16 minutes, like I said, this will not be especially that long. We're getting through it pretty fast. And then for the last one we have convertible, we're going to go look at the 2016 TT Roadster. Now this is a car that the old one, actually not the new ones, the old TTs, I can see you having for a first time car. That, that will be a great car. This new car, I'm kind of iffy, but the price, it's looking okay. Um, the price for the 2016 TT Roadster starting at uh, $46,400. Alright, so let's look at the gallery at this. Look at the exterior. So, like I said, it, it looked like a regular car, you know. Except for this year, they kind of like up the um, design on it, so you get the the aluminum, the leather seating in it. You do get the luxury, and as in every of our um, the leather seats, as in every of our Audis that we've seen. You know, I, I actually like this color pattern: the black and the um, the dark blue. I actually like that. I like these color seats. That leather particularly goes well. So let's explore the performance. This car has a uh, pushes out 220 horsepower from a turbocharged engine. All right. Let's see. Ah, yes, this car is all-wheel drive. Like I said, 220 horsepower. Uh, about 258 pounds of torque with a six-speed dual-clutch transmission. All right. Like I said, you do have new, new, new roads. Um, discover new roads, or at least new ways to drive on them. You can select how you want to drive, or how you want to drive this Audi, like in any of the Audis that we've seen so far. Um, you do get let's explore technology real quick. So you get the Audi, the Audi virtual cockpit. I'm sorry, guys, just can't pronounce this. The Audi virtual cockpit, the 12.3 inch driver focused um, information. So instead of it being on the side of the dashboard, when you have to look over, it's right in the middle. So you can look down and look up as quick as possible to make sure that you are as safe as possible. And this car is 12 speakers with 680 watts of power. And you have the touch system like in the BMW in the last car and the dual side um, assistance. And then the last thing we're doing, this car starting at $46,400, all right? You can get the 2-liter engine pushing out 220 horsepower. All right, about 258 pounds of torque, and that's all for that. Now, so that guys has been the 2016 TT Roadster convertible, guys, and that has been all for Audi. I thank you guys for joining me, um, exploring this car company. It has been a great time with you guys. This has not been especially one of my longer videos, but I thank you guys for um, watching it with me. It does help. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. If you're looking to buy a car, I hope this helped. If you're just 
you just leave for loving cards. I hope that helps. But guys, remember to hit that subscribe button, the like button, the share button if you really want to. Hit that support button, guys. Share with your friends who like cards. Share with your friends who like shoes, who like superheroes. All right. I know I have been falling, I was falling behind on the um, superhero death battle reactions, but uh, those have not been getting a lot of views and a lot of likes. So um, if you guys push that up, um, it will then motivate me to make a lot more of them. All right, but they do take time because then you ha you guys have to watch the video and then at the end I do have to comment on it. So, um, but if you guys do like, subs do like, subscribe, view those videos a lot. I will definitely keep putting them in. All right, guys. I hope the video has been great. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching, um, and I will see you guys when I see you. I'm out.